Hello, my name is James Suprema. Um, Michael Suprema on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. Um, I want to talk about a video which really makes me cringe, and YouTube videos discussing politics don't make me cringe whatsoever. But this video I just watched really makes me cringe. And I don't like that for a specific reason. And I'll play it, then I'll give my responses to what this lady is saying. Okay, so hey everyone. Um, I got bombarded on Twitter last night after the election results were announced. And honestly, I wasn't going to say anything or even make a video because I was like, okay... You know, let's just keep going for another four years into a downward spiral. It's fine, Trish. Keep your mouth shut. You're staying in America. You love America, so just don't say anything. But so many people were so vicious and, like, attacking. It's like, oh, now you have nothing to say? Well, I do have something to say. Okay, I'm just going to stop her. Stop the video there real quick. Okay, obviously this video was from last year when Obama won re-election. That's why I vote for Obama, because I like Obama's president. And frankly, because I'm a Democrat, which the Democrats are the promising party, while the conservatives are the batshit party who don't get anything accomplished. They like to sit on their couches, eat a bag of potato chips, while the Democrats are helping people in need. So... Yeah, people are going to be mean to you, Trish, because Mitt Romney is an asshole. So is Paul Ryan. Oh, yeah, in your previous video titled, it could have been your first or second video, I don't exa exactly remember which number it was, but one of your videos, you said, and I quote, you're voting for Mitt Romney because, one, he's super hot, two, because your cats are named Middens and that's a sign that you have to vote for him. Are you that fucking retarded? And, well, I should say, are you that stupid? I don't like using the word retarded. I try to refrain from using that. And three, because you can't remember his running mate, but you like him. You can't remember the name, but you like him. Which was Paul Ryan, by the way, and, con and you contradicted yourself in that previous video that you made while you're voting for Mitt Romney. But anyway, let's continue watching. Shall we? Oh, before we continue watching, um, the reason why Mitt Romney lost Trish is because, one, he's against health care, he's against women, women's rights, by the way. And with Paul Ryan, it was just evil because they wanted to take away women's rights for an abortion after they got raped. While Mitt Romney is trying to explain what rape is rape. And while that's a stupid question, because anyone that follow that followed the debates and anyone who has a logical mind, Trish, understands that rape is rape. And Period. Rape doesn't mean a certain type of rape. Rape is rape, period. And Mitt Romney wanted to take that right away from women to get an abortion. Apparently, in Mitt Romney's world, it's okay to have a child of someone who a woman got raped by. Okay, now you make a point in there which I agree with because Obama won and because he won, because people trust him as a president, and Mitt Romney lost, and I do agree with you that Mitt Romney won in the minds of people who voted for him, and they apparently think he's president. 
which would be the old white Republicans in Congress who are pissed that Obama won again and are pissed that a black man's running the country. And apparently you just can't grasp your mind around the fact that Obama is running the country and he's black. I'm not the stupid one here. He still wins. It's, he wins my heart. He wins. He's still winning in life. Okay, he wins your heart. Okay, um, he's Mormon. He isn't one of those, uh, he's, he's not one of those sister type, he's not one of those multiple wife re religions because Mormons, in the Mormon religion, I'm not a Mormon, I'm not religious, period, but I'm pretty sure in the Mormon religion, I think that's a sin to have multiple wives. In Muslim religion, which Obama has claimed he is, but Obama isn't, he's Baptist. That's a known fact. Look it up. In the Mormon religion, having multiple wives is a sin, while in the Muslim religion and in the Islamic religion, it's okay to have multiple wives, so... If Mitt Romney was Muslim and he had you as a wife, that would be a different story. But he doesn't have your heart. You think he does, but he doesn't. I mean, think about it. He's still way hotter. Okay, there you go and get with Mitt Romney being hot. Okay. Now, I I don't think about it. I don't think about it because Mitt Romney didn't have my heart to begin with. Actually, he didn't have my mind to begin with. Don't think as voting for someone, Trish, as voting for affection. You're not voting for affection. You're voting for someone to run this country, someone who won't fuck this country up, which Bush already did, and Obama, who's fixing Bush's shit or messed over crap that he left, and you're saying that Mitt Romney stole your heart and you're think, telling people to think about it? No, we're not thinking about it. It's not on our minds on a daily basis. What's on our minds on a daily basis is what we're going to have for dinner, what, we're, what we have to do at our job, what we're going to have for lunch. Where am I going to drive for breakfast? That's what's on our minds on a daily basis. He's still worth like three hundred million dollars. Okay. He's worth three hundred million dollars, or technically, you're wrong there. Mitt Romney's not a millionaire. He's a trillionaire. No, he doesn't pay taxes like us. Well, theoretically, there's no middle class anymore like us poor people do. We pay more taxes than Mitt Romney, and which is bullshit. He should be paying more taxes than us. Because we're ta they're, the rich people are taxing us to death. They're asking us to pay their taxes. And rich people don't run the country. They don't run the country. You know who runs the country? The politicians that are screwy. They run the country. It's not the business people. Anyway, continue what you're saying. Um, so, really, it's like, you're gonna be fine, Romney. I totally love you, and I'm a total groupie of yours for life. Ha okay. You just said you're a total groupie for Romney for life. He's a politician, not a rock star. If you said you're a groupie for Aerosmith for life, I understand that, because I like Aerosmith. But, Mitt Romney's a politician. He ain't a rock star. Anyway, continue what you're saying. I said that. I feel like now, <laughs> being a religious person, I never believed in, like, the end of the world this year. Like, my it's predicting the end of the world is happening in, like, what, like, 30 days or something. I never believed in it. <sighs> Until last night, and then I was like, you know what? <clears throat> that makes me cringe right there. Okay, 
Now, the end of the world bullcrap has been going on for centuries. And I'm going to explain point by point. They said the end of the world was going to happen in 94. Then they, it changed to 99. It didn't. Then they said the end of the world was going to happen in 2005. It didn't. Then they said it was going to happen in 2012, which it obviously didn't. Four times they predicted the end of the world would happen, and it didn't. And the latest end of the world date is, or year, is 2036. And I guarantee it ain't going to happen, because by that time I'll probably be in my late 30s, early 40s, and I'll still be around. Anyway, tell you what you're saying? This might be a sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> okay, Obama being president is the sign of the apocalypse? No, religion is the sign of the apocalypse because, in my opinion, religion is the root of all evil. And I have facts to back that up. Look at the bottom. Why religion is evil. Continue. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, that, you lose all credibility from that, this point on, lady, because you, like, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you ha you don't know how to talk politics. You don't sound like you know politics. For example, when you said he's like three hundred million dollars, he's in the trillions, lady. He just doesn't want to say it. And he hates poor people. And he says that right out front to begin with. And number two, he doesn't like gay marriage. He's against it. He thinks man and woman should only be married while gay people should be burned in a crematorium. That's Paul Ryan's view. Mitt Romney's view is different. But this is exactly what why your credibility is going down the drain. Because if you truly are a Mitt Romney person, you would be giving links to websites why Mitt Romney is a candidate that should have won the election when us Obama supporters have done that the day after Obama won. So who's the victor so far? Let's continue listening. Okay, Trish, what the hell does the end of the world have to do with global warming? It's like comparing apples and oranges. First of all, the end of the world is a religious belief. And global warming, that's an environmental thing. It's already happening. It's not because Obama's president. It's, a, it's been happening since Reagan has been in office. It's been happening since JFK has been in office. The global warming has been always been happening, but nobody believed it because there was no scientific facts to back it up. There is all science and all facts to back it up. You know what? They probably knew this was going to happen, and they are trying to warn all of us. <laughs> so I kind of... Okay. Trish, you sound like you watch Fox News. Uh. Because you just stated right there that they're trying to warn us that it's happening. And you're saying because Obama won, global warming is happening. It's already, it was already happening to begin with. And they're not trying to warn us. They're trying to, they're forcing us to change our environment or else we're going to die in this environment. It's not because Obama's president, like I said before. It's because we humans screwed up our own environment. We use fossil, natural fossil fuels which pollute the air. And recently, last year, so the level of pollution got to the 
fear number that scientists have been studying that they were saying we have to change until it gets to this number and we reach that number which is completely unlivable and people in San Francisco unfortunately get the bad air so some days they can't even leave their houses because they get weather alerts on their TV saying a mandatory stay indoors X anyone who lives out there they will tell you that some days they can't leave their house because it's a mandatory lockdown of all houses until the air is clean so what do you know about global warming You never believed in global warming before when you... This was the first time you voted. So, you never believed in global warming before when global warming was obviously happening. And while there, while now there's all this scientific facts that about it, look it up. It isn't that hard to read. Frivolous sex? What the hell does that have to do with Mick Romney losing? Or winning in your world? Okay, now, if you're combining sex orgies, if you're combining religion with politics, you're in the same batshit screwy level as all of the Republican politicians that are. And Obama in my, has never promoted frivolous sex to begin with. And, and, and with abortions, if and on a serious note, abor- a woman has the right to an, an abortion. If a woman gets pregnant and she doesn't feel that she has the funds or she doesn't feel she's ready to be a mom, she has the right to have an abortion. So, Mitt Romney was against abortions to begin with. He was against women's sexual rights altogether. So, Obama's for for abortions, but he's not saying use them as birth control. He's saying if women, women have the right to abortions, if a woman wants to get an abortion because she feels she's not ready to be a mom or she doesn't have the money, she has the right to an abortion. So, you know what, lady? You lose your credibility there. And with birth control, it, that's like your video title masturbation is evil you say birth control is evil why is birth control evil a woman takes birth control because some women don't like condoms have you ever thought of that let's hear the rest of your dumb video No, it's not that. There's people who don't vote, Trish. It's sad that you don't know that fact. That's like there's people that don't go to church. That's like saying you don't know that there's people who drive a car. It, some people don't de- don't decide to vote because they feel they don't want to get tangled up in this political bullshit. So, where does your credibility stand? 
where's your links to the like the New York Times or to the Wall Street Journal or to these major news papers that have been covering the election in 2012. Let's continue, shall we? And you probably don't have a job. <laughs> oh yeah, with jobs. And you're laughing about it. Okay, now I'm not sure if you're aware, but before Clinton was ever president, the major jobs in this country, which have been provided Americans stable discretionary incomes, have been leaving the country to go to China or Japan to pay below minimum wage, which in this country is illegal to do. Now, in these, like, in China and in Japan and in Indonesia and all these countries where our jobs have gone to, they have children working from for eight years and then on a major holiday, that's the only time they get to see their family and they're working for another eight years, making the stuff that Americans have always been making. And Obama has provided us Americanized jobs in the past four years. And in the past two years, there has been slightly more jobs added to the jobs he already created. So, like I said, who's the victor so far? I just, honestly, it's just really hard for me to deal with the whole welfare thing and all this stuff like that because it's like, I've been down the roads where I've had to like work three jobs and like scrounge for jobs, y'all. Okay. Now, you don't get the whole welfare thing. Let me explain this to you. The whole welfare thing is important. Have you ever heard of WIC, Women in Crisis, Women, Infant, Children, whichever way people want to pronounce, pronounce WIC? Have you ever heard of some of these major welfare companies which... I'm, I've been on welfare when I was an, in, an infant when I was growing up because m my mom was in a situation where at one time she didn't have a job and the only way she could provide me food was through welfare and I've survived because my mom my mom got me welfare, which I was on chip at the time. And people are on welfare for that very same reason, Trish, because women want to keep their children healthy and women want their children to live, obviously. So they put them on welfare, which welfare is a good thing because it provides food, water, clothing, while in the Republican world, welfare doesn't exist. It's pretty sad. Anyway, what do you have to say about your three jobs? Oh, I was a stripper, but I, I never wanted to go on unemployment. I never wanted to go on welfare. Like, <sighs> Okay, let me stop you right there. You said you all know I was a stripper. I didn't know you were a stripper up to this point. Obviously, you look like a stripper because you look like Pamela Anderson with quadruple Ds. And you say you never want unemployment or welfare, but in your case, being a stripper was like being desperate to a idea to an area where you say where you just said that you didn't want to go on welfare. Okay, you didn't want to go on welfare. So what do you do? You, you became a stripper. Now, that's kind of like being unemployed. So, um, if you don't get the reference to what I just said, you're probably too dumb to know it. I don't know. I just think it's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, not the point of this. The point of this video is... 
Yes, it's obviously not the point that you were a former stripper, but, uh, proceed. Basically to say that, you know, I'm still American, um, I still... You're still American? Well, you live in America that makes you an American citizen, but that doesn't make you full American. The Indians that still live in this country are true Americans. They inhabited this country before we kicked them out of their land and made room for ourselves. So we're all descendants of immigrants. Just want to be free, you know, that's the great... You're, you always have the right to be free in this country. That's why people come here for a better life. The thing about America is, is freedom, and, um, you know, as long as I can still keep believing in my religion... What... <sighs> there you go again with religion. Yes, you have the freedom of religion, but don't shove it down our throats. Don't shove it down my throat, because I don't go to church. I think, I mean, there's a reason why I don't go to church, because religion is so loony. If you don't know what I mean, watch Bill Maher's Religious. He explains it all. Don't shove your religion down my throat, which you're doing. That means my churches are going to close down because of these crazy, crazy laws that Obama has instituted on the Capitol. Churches are going to close down because Obama... There is no laws. He has not one law on the church. He, he's oh, down. You're saying oh, churches are going to close down because Obama created laws? Well, I'm not sure if you understand the whole power system in our government. Obama, who is our president, has little to no power. The only power he has is the power to veto a bill, while the people that make the laws in Congress and in the Senate make the laws. They debate and they can never agree on what laws to make. Obama only has the power to veto a bill if he doesn't like it. And churches closing down, that does that's not because of Obama. That's because <clears throat> churches lose significant funds or water damage that can't be repaired or maybe the Monsignor, if, since you're Catholic, has been accused of child molestation, which has been ha which ha happened a lot in the past two years. If you've been watching the news or if you've been informing yourself, which obviously you seem like you haven't been. Catholic Church or whatever, so be it, but I'm going to still practice my religion. And Yes, you have the right to practice your religion, but still, again, don't shove it down my throat. You know, I would be a martyr for it, you know. Um, <sighs> DJ from Full House tweeted last night. Okay, and what does DJ from Full House, what does her tweet have to do with the election? Inform me. Actually, I have the tweets here. Of course you're going to have the tweet, because that's obviously your only source to back your facts that you've been claiming your whole video. Let me see if I can get it up. Oh, you lost the tweet already. Good for you. You're the only person I know that doesn't have their information provided. Eh. Okay. DJ from Full House tweeted, um, God is still good. I place my trust in him alone. And um, that's really the bottom line of it, you know? Okay. What is your video about? Is it about religion or is it about Mitt Romney winning in your own world? I, I have, I can't tell. You're set, you're shoving religion down everybody's throats again. And what, and why does the actress who played DJ from Full House have to do with your video? It doesn't boil down to religion. It just boils down to your stupidity. Oh, I don't. 
in the back of a dollar bill, it says a God we trust, not an Obama we trust, you know? So, um, Do I have to explain American history to you? No. Trish, listen. When George Washington became our first president, and I can't believe I have to tell you this. When George Washington became our first president, and he said in his inauguration, in God we trust. He said that, and it stuck as a slogan. It's not like automatically it's going to change to in Obama we trust. No, Americans trust Obama as our president because by the content of his character, he's welcoming. While Mitt Romney is, get away from me, poor people. Would you really want a president like that? Obama hasn't killed us all yet, so that's good. And, um, you know, if the... Obama hasn't killed us all yet? Who the fuck do you think he is? Do you think he's Hitler? Do you think he's gonna, like, like, come to everyone's houses? Oh, you're conservative. Get in the van! I'm like, it's not like he's gonna take all conservatives and every single American, put them, like, in a concentration camp and gas them. Like, where does that mentality come from? Oh, yeah, Fox News, stop watching it, Trish. Read a book. Go to the library if you know what a library is. The world continues after December, you know, then hopefully we can just at least exist normally and not go. <sighs> exist normally. Okay, Trish, what is normal in this world anymore? Tell me that. Like, okay, in your world, gay people can't get married. That's not normal. But a man and a woman getting married, that is normal because the Bible tells you so. First of all, I mean, it was a complete bullshit story, but that's a different topic. <clears throat> What's normal in this world anymore, Trish? Tell me that. Okay. Down. So, I just wanted to say I love America. Um, congratulations uh, to Obama, I guess. God bless America, and God bless Jesus Christ, and God bless God. And God bless you all. I love you so much, and um, yay, Christmas is coming. <laughs> Bye, guys. What the hell was the... What the hell was the end of your video? Your video is titled, and I quote, Romney wins. And in the beginning of your video, you actually stay on your own topic, and while you're saying Mitt Romney wins in your own world, then you went off to completely different topics. You said you went to religion, and then you go back to your topic about politics and Romney, then you just stay with religion at the end. And you say, God bless Jesus Christ. God bless America. God bless you all. Then you add Christmas is coming? What the hell? What? When was this video posted? November 7th of 2012. Okay. <clears throat> November 7th was the election. Okay, and I clearly remember Thanksgiving was the 25th of that year, and Christmas was not around the corner then. You sound dumb. You are dumb. And coming from a former stripper, stay with stripping, because obviously that's the only thing you're smart at. This has been James DePrima, if you want to subscribe to me. Michael DePrima, you could subscribe to my page. If you like this video, like it. If you want to comment and agree with me how stupid this woman is, comment. And if you're logical enough, subscribe to my page and give me uh, topics to talk about. Thanks. Bye.